live session today i'm bringing you a very important and interesting topic which is social media detox why you need social media to what extent you can indulge in social media and you may feel it quite funny that i'm sharing this on social media but you will get clarity what exactly i'm talking about so i'm not asking you to totally leave social media but how to use social media to your advantage and how exactly to do social media detox let me share with you so first of all this social media detox i'm talking about in this live session with moms so this is especially for moms because i am a coach for moms and i am a emotional healing coach for moms and i am interested in mom's well being because this mom if she takes care of herself if she is feeling good if she is happy naturally she will help her family she will support her family better because she is the pillar of the family the whole home atmosphere changes if this mom nurtures herself so with that intention even this topic i am sharing with that intention to help the mom to guide the moms so what is wrong about social media let us understand so aimlessly scrolling is too bad because you don't know how time is going you just aimlessly scroll you don't learn anything it is just you know feeding the dopamine dopamine is a hormone uh, which actually activates you it is much needed by the body but normally this dopamine there is a overdose happening by aimlessly scrolling you are not even focusing there you are simply wasting time so this is wrong wasting time is not good for busy moms who don't have time rather you can spend it in many other ways i'll share more about it and also often there is comparison uh, mental comparison that everyone are doing well everyone are enjoying their life you know some some people show their ideal day so it is never like that for them or my ideal routine my early morning routine and what i do in a day what i eat in a day those are all good to see because they have all the arrangements done with proper lighting with proper dressing and with proper planning whereas mom is leading a normal day with her family so if you compare and then feel inadequate it's not good for the mom's emotional health so never compare so it is not good social media is not good for this reason and then over consumerism there is over consumerism by this by that take this take this you know you start to feel i should buy all that you start to feel i don't have enough resources to buy so much so there is so much attraction in the social media that you get distracted so there is lot of over consumerism so that is not the fact that is not the content you need to absorb from the social media and then there is violence there is a lot of negativity and useless content this content whatever you watch is not at all helping you even i post on social media i post youtube reels i post uh, youtube shorts facebook reels insta reels but there i share exact tips what moms need to make their life better so anything like that you can definitely take some learnings at least there are many people like me who are actually giving you tips and solutions which will help you so i particularly share some guidance for the moms you can watch my videos everything will have some value you will gain something from it which you can immediately implement in your life i give very simple practical tips but lot of content on facebook especially when you start scrolling the reels or youtube shorts one thing leads to the other one thing leads to other there is nothing of value there is nothing of substance so sometimes there is violence negativity and useless content so for these reasons social media is wrong but let me also highlight what is right in social media entirely we need not keep the social media away we will do detox from time to time and how to do how it helps you as a mom i'll share before that what is right in social media why do we need to have the connect why do we need to be on social media so let me share some reasons for that so for example you want to wish someone on a birthday you want to receive birthday wishes so you are in a place where everyone can reach you so you are accessible to so many people at a time you can't give time to each person you can't take you can only receive so many phone calls so many messages so this facebook kabhi bhi dal diya ya whatsapp pe dal diya you can see it later so it helps to be connected with your loved ones and for sharing your happiness maybe there's an occasion in your home 
your child got some good results you want to share with all your friends who are connected with you so these things you can share on social media with one post it reaches so many people so it is quite beneficial for all these purposes and then you can connect with so many people all at once so just like i shared if you want to connect with thousands of people it is not possible nowadays we are better connected there are advantages of social media Uh, that you can be connected with so many people and even though you meet them after a long time the connectivity is not lost so you are still in touch with each other on social media so it is helpful for this reason then you can learn something useful lot of crafts tricks or stories for your children are there on youtube or some good advice is there some very beautiful meditations music you can make use of all that is good and what you want you can learn any art any craft any language everything is available on social media so you can make use of this free resources so as long as you use it for the right purposes social media is very much relevant except for those negative factors which i mentioned social media is still relevant and very much useful if you know how to use it you should control the social media the social media should not control you those apps should not control you you should be the controller of the app you know that we humans are the makers and creators of these things but we come under their control this should not happen so that is why i am highlighting what the do's and don'ts and why you should do why you should practice social media detox then coming to knowing what is happening around for example i don't read newspaper i don't watch television because there's lot of news repeating just like that and some commercials coming and then there's lot of you know negativity some incident happens that is blown up and shown i can't watch those things but how to keep abreast of what is happening as a person living in the society still you need to know what is happening around so just by scrolling facebook youtube i allot myself certain time okay i'll see what's happening and it gives me all the needed news whether it is about sports or politics or Uh, whatever is happening around me in my city i come to know everything through social media i am on facebook sometimes i look at facebook or youtube also gives me some youtube uh, news related uh, channels i have subscribed so i get to know all the news in brief just what is required to know the happenings so for this reason social media can be used because i don't read newspaper or tv so i don't go in depth into any news but i get to know what is happening for this reason social media is helpful so now i'll tell you what to do what exactly mom should do so you can allot a time maybe you're back from office you need you want to take some rest you want you feel like taking a break and then just relaxing yourself okay 15 minutes i'll allot to myself i'll just take my phone i'll just see whatever i want for entertainment entertainment is very good but when it waste time when it doesn't add value to your life you should not spend too much time on it so just allot yourself that time and enjoy and relax with social media and i also request you while you are relaxing also give some time to learn something it is not just empty entertainment you should be learning from social media what content you want to consume go to that especially i recommend youtube it's very educational if you know how to use it the proper way so you should subscribe to the channels you love maybe you want to try out new dishes so nothing wrong in watching them and it should not stop at just watching you should go and take action you should implement whatever you watch or read or learn it should not stop at just learning that should come into action in your life so make use of the knowledge watch those better channels there are lot of good documentaries on youtube so intellectually your thinking ability will develop your language skills can develop by watching certain channels or you can watch related to your hobbies whatever channels are there i highly recommend youtube and on my feed i get only for my interest whatever i have subscribed i get that and i allot myself time maybe 30 minutes sometimes weekends i take one hour also and just watch only those channels in which i am interested in so you can do that and then you are a role model to the kids moms are role models and whatever you are doing kids will be watching your teens pre teens even grown up kids they'll be watching you what mummy is doing so you being the role model if you are too much with your social media engaged there then you won't have a justification to tell them not to be too much with the gadgets so please take care of that 
then coming to detox so why detox is needed first of all once you decide about 3 4 hours i'll be away from mobile or any other social media or your, even your laptop you don't want to go into any social media or any gadgets in fact it is not just social media detox i advise you go free from gadgets totally gadget detox otherwise you'll leave your mobile then you'll start watching tv then you'll leave your tv then you'll go for ipad so you'll say okay social media i want install all the apps but what if you catch hold of some gadget and you know start watching something and you don't know where time flies so instead decide it's a gadget free time at least half a day maybe during the weekend so just 3 to 4 hours the whole family can follow it but the change begins with you the mom normally moms ask me i want my children to change i want my in laws to change i want my husband to change no one will understand they won't change first change begins with you so at least start with yourself by seeing you you are the role model whatever you do anyway they are watching so when you adopt certain practices like this they'll also get attracted by it and at least they'll see the benefits um, what uh, the alternative ways you engage with them so they'll be attracted to do the same this is with lot of hope you can do that that my children are watching me my family is watching me and do detox of whole gadgets not just social media so first of all it saves you lot of time you feel wow i got 3 hours now you know without gadget without distraction actually we think time is the biggest asset my mentor say it's not time focus is the biggest asset focus is the biggest asset because we get distracted so many times this notifications on our mobile from various apps if we just lose our attention we are doing something in a uh, very concentrated manner and we are there fully they are doing something uh, even may, you may be talking to your child your child may be talking to you but that mobile notification comes that that thing will be broken that establish the connection has been established that connection will be broken because there is a distraction so focus is the biggest asset when you actually switch off your mobile and stay away from it you will feel totally in a flow state in a flow state whatever you are doing you will fully apply your mind this mindfulness you will start to experience and it will help you to enjoy your time and then you will focus on the task to be done so you will have a clarity what all i need to do and you will totally focus there instead of getting distracted and leaving the task half done many moms tell me time management is an issue i procrastinate a lot so how to come out of that how to actually what is the remedy for that procrastination is this you decide i'll not touch any gadgets this two hours i'll allocate maybe you need to clean your cupboard or clean your kitchen some mega work is there you have planned and you are not getting time for that you may be submitting a project for your office uh, you may be very busy and not finding time for that so this is the way to plan for that stay away from gadgets and allocate that time for deep work it is called deep work when you totally focus and there are no distractions and you will have the satisfaction of having completed a work so this is one advantage of detox from social media and gadgets then family bonding and quality time you can actually create moms often feel i don't have time weekends also everyone are busy even your family is busy with their own gadgets so make it a family day at least half a day let us spend with each other having brunch together or lunch together without gadgets so make it a family bonding time and quality time with everyone in the family and then connect with oneself okay we know about family we need to discuss communicate lot of things to be spoken with each other okay catch up with each other what's happening in their life all that is okay but when was the last time you connected with your own self today we had a session it was called magic of gratitude we had a guest one of my dear friends he is a mindset coach mr vinay bajaj he had come as a guest and he took us through a workshop called gratitude and after that it was an awesome experience i'm very thankful to my friend and after that uh, we had a self love meditation come healing and then we did lot of self love activities in the meditation it was a guided meditation and i just guided my moms my mom's tribe through the guided meditation then uh, one of the mom she is almost as old as me in her 50s she may be around 50 years of age and she said 
have never felt like this about my own self i have never connected with myself in all these years i have never done it so this was like you know i opening that we never connect with ourselves because we are so much focused on everything outside under a one person is there you know waiting for your love it is you yourself so connecting with your core connecting with oneself is possible when these distractions are removed these are all external things are all distractions the gadgets whatever you are engaging is just to just to you know subside that inner chatter inner chatter chalta rehta it is going on you don't want to listen to it your own self is trying to talk to you to tell you something when you don't listen to it the inner chatter grows bigger and bigger but you want to distract and just push it away and you indulge in this uh, empty entertainment but when you leave your mobile these very thoughts first come up more forcefully the inner chatter starts bothering you more but after some time it comes down okay she is listening to me and then you can actually tell your inner voice okay i am listening to you tell me what do you want to tell me maybe some surprising facts will come up which you didn't know about yourself then the inner voice subsides you will feel very cool and calm and you will feel connected really connected to yourself that feeling is so precious being connected to yourself feeling like your own friend is so precious and then uh you you please plan for detox because dopamine uh, i was mentioning about the dopamine chemical which is secreted which is actually very good for being active and uh, you know active thinking uh, body will feel good and energetic it's very good dopamine uh, chemical but when it is too much too much is too bad we are going into over dopamine secretion because of all these activities what we are doing we don't need that chemical so much but it is being uh, produced in the body which is actually a problem for us so we need to detox from the dopamine by keeping this gadgets away by not over stimulating our senses or our thinking we actually are calming down as a person you are calming down so that is very much needed in these uh, tense times you know there's lot of chaos around lot of now is lot of stress so how do you get to relax peacefully by being away from these gadgets by reducing your dopamine levels so it really helps keeping away the gadgets and moving away from social media and then you feel peaceful less agitation just now i explained how you get connected with your core that inner chatter will subside you will feel very calm from inside even though sometimes moms tell me my child does that my husband said this so i got triggered i could not keep quiet when they are doing this i had to retort i had to react for whatever i am receiving from others so you start to notice yourself becoming very patient the triggers are the same from outside but you don't react instead you just take a pause and you respond this becomes part of your nature the more you connect with yourself by using this dopamine detox and keeping the gadgets away so you develop lot of inner calmness the same things which were tr- triggering you earlier will not trigger you now now you don't get easily triggered you have lot of patience you analyze the things you will respond differently you will think before talking all the changes will come gradually when you practice week by week or every day for some time if you remain away from these things and just do some meditation journaling practice you will feel really different person from inside that will start to happen then you will feel rejuvenated by doing this activity of keeping the gadgets away you will feel suddenly like a rejuvenated person all your energy comes back so midlife moms tell me i feel lack of energy always i'm working so much of work so many thoughts negative thoughts so how do you rejuvenate yourself this is one very easy method to rejuvenate yourself by connecting with yourself keeping the gadgets away being away from social media and it's very much relaxing to the eyes because these gadgets throw blue light and we are in social media we don't even realize how much time we are spending looking at the bright light at at the screens so how much ever you use blue screen and all that still light is light and it affects your eyes so it's very relaxing to the eyes when you keep this screens away and gadgets away and do social media detox and what are the alternatives okay i'll keep the gadget away for one hour what can i do in that time so if this question comes up you can 
take up journal writing and just write your thoughts write to attitude sentences write a letter to your friend to your family to yourself whatever thoughts are coming just put it on paper you can even make a to do list you can plan your menu you can write anything and everything so you can just let yourself free and write anything you may pen a poem you may write a story whatever your hobbies your let your creative imagination free and write it in your journal and then you can go for a long walk in fresh air this is an alternative don't carry your mobile even though you, you don't count steps it is okay enjoying the walk is more important than that adding to the 10000 steps and then you can cook something from the scratch you know you have some time uh, maybe 2 hours 3 hours so from scratch when you cook something with love for your family that feeling is entirely different being so mindful of every step of cooking enjoying that cooking process normally in a hurry bari we cook something just on time you have to provide everything then by the time it ends the cooking process ends you are so tired so but when you cook with joy you feel more energy at the end of the cooking you serve them then look at their happy faces you feel so much joy they will also relish it it will add extra taste to the dish you make when you cook with this mindset with lot of love taking your own time and putting all your good vibes into the food then you can do some creative activity if you have that one or two hours away from social media or gadgets you can do some painting if you are an artist some craft work you can do knitting whatever your hobby you can indulge in it maybe listen to music uh, again music should not be through mobile if you take that mobile all kind of you know notifications start coming so you can use some other means for listening to music or you can play an instrument if you are into it then book reading normally mom said i don't have time to read books i want to read books it's such a good habit but i can't get time to read books so make it at least a weekly activity every weekend i'll remain away from my gadgets and mobile for 2 hours or 3 hours and in that time plan all these activities read a book for half an hour you'll complete 5 to 10 pages that's a very nice feeling when you read a book and you just recap what all you read so every week you'll be progressing right so one final hack i'll tell you what i did for myself uh, it was august yeah august i went to rishikesh with my spiritual mentor uh, he had taken the entire group uh, uh, to a retreat his name is dr m v priyank my guru ji my spiritual mentor and we had a very great time there and very spiritual uh, atmosphere you know how rishikesh is uh, ganges ganga was flowing and just on the banks of ganga we were there in an in an ashram and totally we had a very nice spiritual experience and uh, we watched that ganga arti uh, all that holy vibes we just observed and then after i came back i don't know what happened i felt like doing mauna vrat then i told my family entire day from morning uh, 10 to night 10 pm i won't talk to anyone and i'll have only some light food like fruits and all that and uh, i was in this room this is my office room where i am seated it and there's a kind of vibe here which i feel very uh, homely and some good vibes are here so i was in this room from morning 10 to night 10 i didn't talk to anybody and i left my mobile in the other room i did lot of writing of my thoughts and i was with myself and i felt so peaceful and calm this was like you know two things at that time was great combination mahunavrat plus no gadgets no screen time no social media nothing i was left with my own self that feeling first for some time i felt bored what to do entire day but one thing led to other i wrote a lot then i read a lot from my own journals sometimes we make lot of notes but we don't get time to go back and revise or read what we have written so i had to call my notes i just read so lot of inner thinking happened by night 10 pm i was feeling so happy so very calm that feeling is was so good so time to time you should all try it mauna vrat it actually helps so mauna vrat plus no gadgets is very good combination and i included some sattvic food also along with it so body felt happy mind felt happy soul felt uh, so refreshed so it was a very heavy experience from my experience i wanted to share this with you 
So please think about it when you can plan some weekend. Start with half an hour, 30 minutes. I will not touch any gadgets. I will not even look into social media. Even I won't receive calls. You know, you can actually decide that because distraction happens every time you want to do something or even thinking, sitting and thinking is also a big activity, right? So a lot of analysis has to be done when there are troubling thoughts, negative thoughts. We don't even give attention to that. Then it all piles up as emotional problems because we are unresolved inside so there are a lot of benefits of no social media no gadgets add some mauna vritti if you can do silence you know just remain in silence no talking no communicating not even writing chits and communicating you know that is not mauna vritti if someone writes and tells you so others can talk you can listen then you reply to them by writing how can it become mauna vritti do total no talking, no communication. Let me be with my own self. Let me make friends with myself. Try it and you will get hooked. Start with 30 minutes. Extend to 2 hours, 3 hours if you can on a weekend or on a daily basis. When you wake up early morning, just maintain silence for 10-15 minutes and don't touch the gadgets. You will feel so good. You will feel so good. Right? So this is what I wanted to share. Actually, I thought the topic is social media detox, then it went to no gadgets, then I added uh, why not Bhavnavrit, you know, I want to give more and more value to my moms, so whatever came at this time I have shared with you, I want you to put it into practice and share in the comments, you can comment, commit to yourself in the comments, you can say this Sunday, anyway, weekend is coming, today is Friday, so tomorrow, Saturday, holiday if you have or Sunday, you can actually plan, okay, 30 minutes I'll be without any gadgets and let me experience this, whatever uh, the peace and rejuvenation I explained till now, you can actually experience it. You can commit by commenting in the chat box this uh, weekend or, or this day of the month, you can put a date and for this time I'll be away from gadgets and I'll practice silence and let me see what happens. So please put in the comment what exactly you will be doing and uh, I do a free master class for moms it's called my healing master class I'll leave a link in the comment if you are interested please do join I want to share and give you more value what will help you in your life to lead your happy life for yourself and happiness create that happiness for your family so I'll leave a link of free my healing master class please do join and let me see you there in that session Thank you for joining this live session. To listen to the recording, if you have joined just now, I shared a lot about no gadget, no social media, how exactly to do that and what are the benefits. Thank you for joining. Take care. Bye-bye.